Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings to improve your FPS, fix frame lags, stutter, and FPS drops in Delta Force Season 2 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that search for settings onto your PC and once you're here, go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off. You don't want any kind of game bars running on your PC because they are overlays and consume a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background even while you are playing the games. After disabling that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. You'll optimize your PC by turning things off in the background and this will help you to improve your performance. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and then click on change default graphic settings. Over here, you need to enable hardware accepted GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game as well as reduce your input and render latency. After that, go back to graphics and now you're gonna have to click on the browse button over here and go to the download location of your game. Once you're here, go into game, then Delta Force, Pineries, Win64, and then scroll a bit down until you find Delta Force Client Win64 Shipping.exe. You're gonna have to click on add and if that is already added, you're gonna have to find it in the list, head over to options and then select high performance this will ensure that it will utilize your gpu instead of the igpu and then click on the save button over here and once all of that is done simply close your settings step number two is the compatibility settings and for that you want to have to go into the file location once again head over to game delta force binaries win64 and then you'll find your exe file right over here right click on that head over to its properties compatibility and then you want to have to select disable full screen optimizations over here then you have to click on change high dpi settings select override high dpi scaling behavior Behavior. Click on OK, click on Apply, and that should be it. This will help you to get rid of all of the input latency. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Look for your local disk C over here, click on create and name it Delta Force just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is a Delta Force Season to FPS pack, I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can also join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Over here, you'll find in six simple folders. Let's start with the first one, that is CPU Priority, in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU Priority. Both of them have a registry file. Now, this file will help you to set up the correct D word values and priorities for your CPU to ensure that it is performing well. And to run it, you can simply double click to run it up and you can do it according to your CPU. Second folder is the same, but for the RAM. Over here, I have left a ton of resets according to your RAM configuration. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to run this registry over here. It could be different for you so you can apply the one that is corresponding with your specifications. Once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys or you want to restore all of that back, select reset to default, double click on it to run it and that should be it. Third folder is the most important one which is the Delta Force priority in which I have left above normal and high priority for which I would request you guys to leave all of your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is actually power plan settings and to run this, you can right click and run this import ultimate performance power plan onto your PC. Make sure to run this as administrator because otherwise it won't add it. Done running it, head over to power plans right beneath that. Then click on show additional power plans until you find ultimate performance right over here. Once you selected that, simply close it and now you're using the best power plan for gaming on the PC. Note that this will have side effects if you're on a laptop. It might cause heating issues and quicker battery drain, but nothing on computers. 
Fifth folder is actually disabling unwanted services where I have left a ton of registry files which will help you to disable unnecessary services on your PC. Now if you use Bluetooth or printers, don't disable these two but other than that I would recommend you guys to disable every single service right over here to ensure you get maximum performance because most of the times we do not use these services on our PC but they are still running in the background consuming our CPU's resources. Once again if you change your mind and if you want to revert them back, simply head over to revert registry folder and you can select the ones that you want to roll back again. Final folder is the programs in which I have left clean temporary files. This is a batch file that you can right click and on this as administrator and once it opens up it will simply ask you to clean all temporary files off of your PC. Simply press any key and it will start deleting these temporary files. Don't worry it is completely safe to do so. Next one is MSI mode utility 3.0 and this is in charge of improving our GPU performance. Simply run this as administrator and once this window opens up you wanna have to locate your GPU. GPU, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority you're gonna have to set it to high. This will make sure that your GPU can handle more interrupts and this will ensure that your GPU is running on the maximum performance possible while you're playing the games. Don't worry this is not an overclock so you won't damage your product anyways. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and once you're here select custom. Then you have to select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will ensure the basic look of your windows remain intact while all unnecessary animations are disabled right away. This might not improve your FPS drastically but might help you with some. Right after that head over to the advanced tab and then for the processor scheduling you're gonna have to set this thing to programs. Then click on the change button under virtual memory and this is the next step. Here is how you can change your virtual memory. Deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Then for the custom size set this thing to 1361. For the maximum size you have to open up your calculator over here so simply open it up. Multiply your RAM with 1024 and this will be the new value. Divide this by 2 and this value should be pasted in the maximum size. The basic concept of virtual memory is that when your RAM is completely utilized and your game is demanding more, the PC will automatically use your SSD or hard disk drive to help your game with extra performance, becoming the virtual memory. Once that is done, simply click on close and then close it. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, internet issues, late latency and a lot more using no ping. You can download this for free from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application it should look like this and over here you will find over 1000 games to choose from including more popular games like Valorant, RP, Rainbow Six Siege, CS2 and a lot more. Simply search for Delta Force over here and then click on it. It will give you two options that is choose automatic or choose manual. Click on buy country and this will give you the nearest country to you that is India for me. Select the nearest server which has the lowest latency and then click on optimize game. Once you click on optimize the game it will start one click optimizing this game. The best part about no ping is the boost FPS section right over here wherein if you enable all of these settings it will help you to drastically improve your FPS. It helps you fix not just your frames, it helps you fix not just your network issues but also your frame issues. I use no ping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements and I would recommend you guys to use no ping as well. You can get the free trial from the link in the description below. Once and with all of that, you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Once you're here, go down to graphics and then for the monitor, make sure you select your native monitor, your native graphic card, then your display mode should always be set to full screen, resolution should be 1920 by 1080, display refresh rate should be set to the maximum available for your display, the aspect ratio should be your native aspect ratio. Now for the match frame rate cap, you wanna set this thing to your display refresh rate and out of the match frame cap should be set to 30. For VSync and Nvidia Fast Sync, you're gonna have to turn both of them off. Then you have to scroll down and for the graphic presets, you're gonna have to set this thing to custom. Anti-aliasing should be set to TAA. Reflections should be set to low. Texture filtering, medium. Ambient occlusion, off. Particles and distortion, low. Scene details, medium. Scene view details, medium as well. Rendering scale should be set to 85. That would be the best one. Global illumination quality, low. Shaders, low. Textures, medium. Streaming, low. Shadow low, shadow map low, post processing low, volumetric fog low, animations low. After that super resolution you wanna have
have to set this thing off as it adds a lot of input delay into the game. And for Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, go with Enhanced if that is available for you. You will see that the estimated VRAM usage drops drastically and as you click Apply, all of the best settings will be applied. And after this, you have to click on the Recompile Shaders over here. And this will restart your game and recompile all of the shaders and give you the best FPS possible in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I believe in you guys. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.